Good morning, boys and girls. Ms. Southwick here with your math help for Wednesday, January 6, 2021. So if you would, go ahead and turn to that page in your packet. Then we're going to turn past the reading comprehension. We're going to turn past place value in standard form. And we arrive right here with place value in expanded form. Let's start by looking at the directions. The directions say, Use the digits on each shirt to make a new number. Write each number in expanded form. But before we get started, let's go back and review with a video about expanded form. What's up everyone? How's it hanging? Today guys, we're going to talk about expanded form. So let's go over and take a look at a few numbers to learn what expanded form is. Okay guys, I want you to imagine in your mind what a slinky looks like. A slinky is a toy that starts out small but can expand and stretch out. Expanded form is a lot like a slinky. It's taking the number and pulling apart all of its digits so that we can find out the value. Here is the number 358. This number is in standard form. If we were asked to put this number in expanded form, the first thing we need to know is how much are each of these digits worth. The 3 in this number is in the hundreds place, so the 3 is worth 300. Now we have the 5. The 5 in this number is worth 50 because it is in the tens place. The 8 in this number is only worth 8 because it is in the ones place. So if we were to write the number 358 in expanded form, we would have 300 plus 50 plus 8. Just like a slinky that we pull apart, this number is stretched out in expanded form. When you stretch out a slinky and let it go, what does it do? It shrinks back together. Let's do that with this number. Now we have the number back in standard form, and it looks just like a slinky that is not stretched out. Isn't that awesome? Let's look at another example. Okay, we're gonna stop the video there and we're gonna look at the examples on our worksheet. Okay, so here we've got our first example. We've got three t-shirts. On each t-shirt is a digit. We have the digits six, eight, and three. Then we have these boxes A through F. And on this first example, all of the number combinations using those three digits have already been made for us. We've actually got the first one typed in. We have the number 368. So let's practice writing that in expanded form. When you write expanded form, it is helpful to start with the hundreds place because we're going to be writing an addition sentence to show the expanded form. So here we can see in our hundreds place, we have the digit three. Let's think about the value of three hundreds. Their value is 300, so we write 300. Then we're going to add the value of the digit in the tens place. And here you can see we have six in the tens place. The value of six tens is 60. So we're going to add 60. Finally, we're gonna add the value of the digits in the ones place. As you can see, we have an eight in the ones place. The value of eight ones is eight. So when we've completed our addition sentence for 368, we have 300 plus 60 plus 8. Let's go ahead and try the next example together as well. So here we have the number 386. They've taken this first number and they have flip-flopped the digits in the ones and the tens place. We've kept the three in the hundreds place. So we can turn 368 into 386. Now let's write the addition sentence. Move this over here out of the way. Let's start in our hundreds place. We have a three in our hundreds place. What is the value of three hundreds? If you said 300, you got it right. So let's write 300. And then we're going to add the value of the digit in the tens place. 
Here you can see we have eight tens. What's the value of eight tens? If you said 80, you got it right. So let's add 80. And finally, we're gonna add the value of the digit in our ones place. Here you can see we have six ones. What's the value of six ones? Six. So when we write 386 in expanded form, we get 300 plus 80 plus six. And you can go ahead and practice that with the rest of the numbers in the, um, in the boxes. Now that could be a little tricky, just making the numbers. So I also want to practice using the digits on a t-shirt to create all of the number combinations we can using those digits. So I think the easiest thing to do is just start with the digits in the order that they're given. Here we have four, one, five. If we think about that as hundreds, tens, and ones, we would have 415. And then we're gonna put our equal sign because we're getting ready to write the addition sentence where we expand the value of each of those digits out. And let's start in our hundreds place. Four hundreds. That's equal to 400. So let's write 400. Then we're gonna add the value of the digit in the tens place. We have a one in the tens place. One ten has a value of 10. So let's write down 10. And finally, let's add the value of the digit in the ones place. We have five ones. The value of five ones is five. So when we write the number 415 in expanded form, we get 400 plus 10 plus five. Now let's practice making the additional numbers from those three digits. What I like to do is keep the digit in the hundreds place the same and then flip flop the tens and the ones. So let's put five tens and one one. Those are the only two combinations we can make with a four in the hundreds place. Let's make the, the next combinations using one in the hundreds place. So go ahead and write your one in your hundreds place. You can choose four or five to write next. I'm gonna go with four, four tens, and five ones. And there we have the number 145. Now let's keep that one in the hundreds place and flip flop the tens and ones. Let's put five tens and four ones. And there we can create the number 154. All right, we've used all of our combinations with four in the hundreds place. We've used all of our combinations with one in the hundreds place. Now let's put five in the hundreds place. I'm just gonna go in order here. Let's put four tens and one one. Now let's take that same number, keeping the five in the hundreds place and flip flopping the tens and the ones and there we can create the number 514. So you can see from any three digit number, we can create six number combinations. And then you'll go ahead and write those out in expanded form, just like we practiced. All right, boys and girls, this is it for your second math help on January 6th, 2021. Thank you.